Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Magical Star Sign. Yet again, sorry about the break and uploads. Last time, we made it here into Spring Mole Hill. I think we're about to be fighting the Ant Queen shortly. So let's go! Yeah, that looks like a Queen Ant, alright. Ew, that icky pulsating thing has got to be the Queen Ant, don't you think? Y yeah, yeah, pretty much. It looks like Empress Ball Blacks from Pikmin. And now we're fighting. I can, I can dig the music. Okay, of course she has assistance. Oh yeah, no, you're technically in the front line. I don't want that. There we go. That way you can do your group attacks. I'm smart. Oh, crap. Should probably move you back, too. Oh my god, I should probably heal as well. Um... Oh no. Can I check her health right now? Okay, um... I feel like I've stated this before. I don't know how this game handles like frontline, backline in terms of damage. Like, if there's no one in the frontline, then does that mean that everyone in the backline takes the same amount of damage as if they were in the frontline? I'm just all over the place. I'm just healing. Let's be on the safe side. I don't like my health being that low. That was disrespectful. Oh, oh, okay, and you're doing it again. Okay, I'll just play it safe. Oh, and apparently, I have been corrected on... Timing your magic. Thank you, Rosen. Um, apparently it's a ball of light that appears around your character, so it's not actually based on the uh, rotating icons here. So let me see if I can like see this and actually time it properly. Huh. I can't tell if that was any better or not. I mean, granted, I've just started encountering these enemies, but yeah, I forgot this little mage dude. He's a bit of a jerk, so we need to, you know, physical attack. Okay, this is getting stupid. But I don't know, that animation seemed, like, pretty extra. Let me, let me, let me see. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not. It's like, per his comment, like, just before the orb around your character from when they're casting the spell disappears, you can tap them to deal extra damage. Well, whatever. Let's just get rid of this mage. And, yeah, just, just keep doing you. Oh, great. Oh, but they're both normal dudes. Let, let's, 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 let's have a little fun with this. Not bad. And then the, this should hopefully take them out.
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't like that antacid attack. Okay, well then we're just gonna go ahead and heal you up a little. We're playing smart. We're playing smart. Just keep spamming the magic. Oh, I didn't tap that time. That did the same damage. Okay, so maybe I was mistiming the tap. I'll get the hang of this. I also need to freaking read the goddamn manual. <laughs> I keep putting it off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I got the magic points, I might as well just keep using it. I didn't tap again. Uh, how much HP do you have, Queenie? Neither one of them are mages, so we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with some more arc light. I just want to take her out as quickly as possible. Okay, job well done. And now, the lackeys. I'll get the hang of things sooner or later. We're still early on in the game. I'm still learning. We leveled up. You love to see it. Ew, I think she left something. Shouldn't we at least take a peek inside? Yeah, why not? Oh, oh d duh, gotta tap it. Diggy claws. Yuck, what is this? Looks like some kind of glove. It looks nasty. Is it equipment? Or a key item? It's a key item. Alrighty. But not bad, not bad. Boss has been defeated. The moles are gonna be... happy? Oh yeah, I guess no more, uh, encamp- Okay, well, I stand correct. <laughs> Couldn't even finish my thought there. Oh. We were gonna waste a turn getting you back up to the front then. Get him. Gravel Pounder. That was overkill. You didn't need to do all that. That's why you're about to be kicked to death now. Okay. I forgot how to exit. Okay, so I guess the exit is down here. Well, obviously. I'm not the brightest. I try my best, though. Alright, time to take you out with the quickness. Okay. Just keep experimenting with tapping. It might surprise itself. And deal some extra damage. I don't need to talk to all y'all. I'm now afraid of, like, making things go extinct. Well, there's multiple frogs here. I, I can take one. But yeah, I, I, won't, I won't go overboard.
just looking around. About to let them know I saved the day. Yo, shower me with presents. Oh ho ho, you have vanquished our whole or hated enemy, the Ant Queen? There is little left to do but to declare you a mighty hero, Cap. And let me to extend our mission, she have thanks. Please, you must tell us, did the Foul Queen have something special in her personage? Special? Not so much. She just had this weird looking glove. Here, you take it. Could it be? Have you recovered the great digging tool of legend? You have! These are the Diggy Claws. One knows the legends, of course, but one never truly believes that such a thing could exist. But here it is. What? The Diggy Claws? Allow me to explain. Spiny moles are excellent diggers in soft soil, but even we have trouble when it comes to hard soil and rock. We've dug everywhere we could on this planet. We've dug up every last worm that could be found in the softer soil. The Diggy Claws are the answer. With these, burrowing through solid rock is a breeze, indeed, a joy. But they are useful only in the hands of a spiny mole. But you did fight so very hard to retrieve the Diggy Claws. Go on, take them. No, really, we couldn't. You're the ones who are so crazy about worms. Huzzah! Did you hear that? They refused our kingly reward. Do you think that, perhaps, they truly are? There can be no doubt. They are indeed the heroes foretold in the Book of Light. Minister, fetch me the Book of Light! With all haste, your clawfulness. Well, he wasn't wrong about haste. <laughs> Here it is. Read it immediately. Him. After forming a bond of friendship with the spiny moles, the hero selflessly refused the king's reward. Caring not for their own happiness and thinking only of the well-being of the spiny moles. And then, the heroes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Keep reading. I can feel time. Nay, history itself is on a cusp. They will release the sleeping planets from their curse and will then depart for new horizons aboard a ship of light. All dreams of all men shall come true at that moment. That's so moving, so poignant. Heroes! You mentioned. Wait, was he crying then with the ow 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 thing? Oh uh, no. You mentioned you were heading for Puffoon, did you not? Now, it is our turn to help you as you have helped us. You are to journey to New Horizons, or so the legend says. And so we will do whatever it takes to send you to the Planet of Winds. I understand a rocket lies dormant in the center of the Kahav ruins, deep in the innards of this planet. The Kahav ruins center around a tower of great power. When the tower lost its power, the spaceship became dormant and slept. The only thing that can wake it is the star buried in the land where stars sleep. While I know few details of this legend, I am sure you will be able to unravel the mystery on your own. Great hero Cap, grant these regal claws the opportunity to help you. We shall dig you a hole to the land where the stairs sleep ourselves. With that, blah, blah. With that, we can do more to repay our people's debt to you. You shall begin at once, to the digging grounds. Oh, and take as much time as you like preparing. It may take us a while. See you there on the digging grounds. Okay. I guess I can use this time to go to the shop and upgrade the remaining equipment that I could not afford previously. believe this will be it. Oh, I can buy green frogs here. Okay, so those are already equipped. Okay, well then... Okay... Alright, and I can just do left and right. That, that's, that's fine, that's good.
just checking. Oh, I already looked at the... Alright. So, yeah, I do have the best possible equipment. Just making sure, just making sure. Oh. Okay. In the end, honestly, I probably should. Uh, yeah, until morning. Just to make sure I'm doing fine after those fights. Alrighty. Now, onward to the digging grounds! Already here. We shall dig a hole to the land where the stars sleep. Oh, but before we do... <gasps> Blarney, stand aside and let these heroes approach our most treasured treasures! And once your majestic moleness... Are you ready? Then let us go. By your leave, your majesty, not to question the power of your claws, but are you feeling well enough to do this? Ah, uh, my trusted advisor, you worry too much. We have the diggy claws, so we have nothing to fear. Where you lead, we follow, your majesty. Your majesty, we will come with you. By all means, my friends, we shall all go together. Right. Can I can I get the treasure though? Can I can I get the treasure though? Treasure. These ziggy claws are as fabulous as the legend said. We can claw through solid granite like it was nothing but so much soft and creamy cheese. There's nowhere we can't dig. Let me to extend, most regal. Thank you. Look at that twinkle in his eyes. He must really like digging. Come along, young mages. The place you seek is here. We're sorry to see you go, but the time is upon us, so... Goodbye! Alright, yeah, but treasure. Tre treasure, thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm like Wario. I don't care what happens to y'all. I just want this treasure. Two hair clips. Is there gonna be, like, gendered uh, equipment in here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay, it's an actual thing. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead, equip that. So let me see. Oh, he can't, okay, cool. All right, not bad, not bad. Just keeping two hair clips in a treasure box, all right. Slippy oil, okay. I guess the moles don't really understand what good treasure is. Two wooden clogs. Okay. Make an enemy careless and double the chance of it dropping items. Ooh, that sounds good. Alright, well, might as well equip the clogs. Who knew clogs could raise your agility? Alrighty. More moles? Best of luck? Oh, well, thank you. Uh ha -huh. It seems we got carried away and dug the wrong way. How foolish. <laughs> Gorgonzola, the digging game. <laughs> yeah, the writing in this game. So good. King is a digging machine. Got so excited that he got a bit carried away. This place is practically a maze. It ain't that bad. Hey there, big heroes. You have a good one. Oh, thank you. Howdy, Romano with the sharp ears here. Where it is you got a rocket in the ruins and you're going to the wind planet. That's so awesome. Everything you do is out of this world. Literally. Take care of yourself, Lassie. Oh. 
Full delicious HP restoring water. Oh, well, I didn't need to stop at the end then. <laughs> Anything else over here? Warms. I'll take one. I won't I won't go overboard. <laughs> Should have a tree for you to find. <laughs> Ooh, not bad. Okay. This went well. This worked out. Our most royal appreciations, heroes. Climb up here and you should reach the land where the stars sleep. We did not fully believe the minister when he first told us of your coming. But when you brought up... Oh, uh, my... Lila, I can read. When you brought us the Diggy Claws, we had no choice but to believe. You will achieve something great. You may well save our world from the dark times. To you, we may seem nothing more than naive underground diggers, but that does not matter. To us, you are heroes. And we will tell our future generations of the hero named Cap. I'm so sad. Do not cry, Minister. But send them off for the hero's farewell. Huzzah! By the way, heroes, do you know where your journey takes you from here? Uh, Pafoon, right? Very encouraging reply, but we must be certain if you are lost in the fog of indecision clouds your path. See us. We will offer your royal guidance. Heroes, huzzah. Now make that double huzzah. Okay. Alright, do, do, does that one have a thing for Lassie? Great kids and their pets and their pets' grandkids. <laughs> All right, well, fine, tell me. You'll blast off into space. Before that, you must decipher the legendary words to claim your rocket. To just you ask the minister for the legendary words. Oh, okay. I have ruins center around a tower of power. If I have ruins lost their power, the rocket went to sleep as well. Only a star has been buried in the land where stars sleep can wake it. The heroes decipher the riddle of the word. It is time for the great farewell. Alas. Why y'all gotta be so cryptic, man? Okay, fine, whatever. Oh, you. Um, oh yeah, I do have some sugar stars, because I picked them up. Yeah, sure, why not? Warp points are always fine. Now what? Need to go to the Kehav Ruins. Well, that's convenient. The land where stars sleep is right through this cave. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad they uh, spelled that out for me. Wow, it literally is where the stars sleep. Huh. Hey, let me tell you all about spell strikes. If you cast a spell and tap yourself at just the right time, you'll make the spell way more powerful. Okay. Thank, thank you. Let me tell you about reflex guards. When you're about to get attacked, tap yourself at the right time to pull off a reflex guard and take less damage. Well, I'll keep that in mind, too. I have not been tapping anything while I've been getting attacked. I'm a brownie. <laughs> I've been growing radishes here in secret for some time. All radishes are connected by a giant root network. That's why we know so much. You see this cave? The brownies there piled up about three mountains to build it. I'm pretty sure that's not how radishes work, but okay. Look at the size of that thing. Hey, Cap, it looks a little like a windmill, don't you think? But what's it doing in a cave? There's no wind here. I see what we're gonna have to do. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I can swear there's a massive windmill, all right. It looks taller than the whole academy back home. But that's so dumb. What's the point of building a windmill underground? There's no wind here. Well, you just gotta create some. Simple. I'm glad it's actually doing something, <laughs> because if I would have said that and it did nothing, I would have looked a little stupid. Boy, the geese are going loud outside. Um, did we make a carnival up here? Or... Oh, pretty. Some kind of ancient machine? Okay. Um... I guess that means... Oh yeah, because this is flashing, so we restored power. Ooh, it's now dark. I, well, night, night time. I was about to say it's now darkness. That's that's <laughs> not an actual like unit of time. Well, I mean, night time isn't a unit of time either. It's not a time of day. That's what I'm trying to say. No more robots. Trespassers detected. Beginning purge routine. My dogs. I beat a giant ant queen. You are nothing. You are nothing right now. Told you. Yeah, yeah, acquire the target. Acquire the target. You're not even going to get a chance to attack. Damn, you might get a chance to attack. Eh, you can just do a normal attack. No need to waste some extra MP there. So now the ruins opened up even more. Intruder detected. Eliminate. Eradicate. Exterminate. Don't they ever learn? No worries. Yeah, I feel like I keep screwing up the tapping of the character. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a failsafe in here to prevent you from, like, just constantly tapping your character. I'll figure it out at some point. Oh, that was a treasure chest. Alright. That's fine. I'll take the money. Just taking my time in case... Oh. More enemies were going to show up. Intruders detected. Cleanse and dead set fact. You're, you're going to shower me in uh, hand sanitizer? Like, what? Okay, whatever. Wind. Hmm. Oh, I tapped. 
my character instead of her. But do you just have to... Well, no, yeah, you probably just have to tap the character that's being attacked. Not so much just tap anywhere on the screen. So far, we're doing pretty dang good. Alright! Oh, we're back in this area! Where we crashed it did. Okay. Well then, next time, we return to the ruins. We are stronger by, like, a couple more levels. Smarter by just slightly a little more knowledge. And better. And should be able to not get arrested by robots again. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Magical Star Sign. Goodbye.